it, it just comes back to leverage. So there's yeah. a uh, a guy by the name of Eric Jorgensen who wrote the Almanac of Naval Ravikant, and he's currently writing the Almanac of Balaji Srinivasan, two of the top thinkers of Silicon Valley. And he has a course all about leverage. It's just how can you apply leverage to your personal life? And thinking in those terms in an exponential world also has the ability to catapult you to crazy high special places. Yeah. But simultaneously, it's thinking in those terms that makes you think more like a business owner, more like an entrepreneur, that makes you really hone in on the zone of genius, the things that insulate you from, you know, hey, we're going to, we're seeing it with layoffs right now in tech, right? We're going to lay off all these people and partially they weren't even really working at all, right? But I'm, I'm sure they're, that Google, when they axed whatever, 18,000 people, didn't ax their like absolute creme de la creme engineers, right? Yeah. Those people were completely secure. They saw like the subject in the email that said layoffs happen today and they didn't think it must be me. Well, that's not entirely true. So I, I, I'm not in those bureaucracies, so I, 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 I'm speculating that. I say this because I have friends at all these companies. And so I, um, I have a friend um, at Meta when they did their layoffs who was fucking terrified. <laughs> And this isn't a dumb person. Right? Yeah. I have a friend at Google when they did all their layoffs who was fucking terrified. Also not a dumb person. Neither one got laid off, by the way. Yeah. But, um, you know, I I will check in with my, my buddies at those places just to kind of get the temperature and see how it's going. And, you know, I, I'm being anecdotal. I have more than one friend at both of those organizations. It could be anybody. But, sure. you know, I'm just saying it like... And that's the nature of being in those organizations, just like from a job security standpoint, you're, you're aware of there's, there's a, a bureaucracy that well transcends the experience that you're having yeah. in that world. Well, I think if fear is in the water too, I mean, you know, like it's, it's a little bit contagious. Of, of course, fear is yeah. in the water. And then also just, you know, the, there's a degree to which that's just the human experience, right? We're still going to tap into insecurity. Like I'm yeah. sounding very confident right now on the podcast. Of course, I have moments of insecurity when all the time, <laughs> you know, the client churns and the you know the person that I hired doesn't work out the way I expected him to. Like every all no the way work shape, falls onto your shoulders exactly all at once. Not infallible in any way, shape, or form. But the hope, and you know, I try to breathe when I see that into other people. I try to breathe that confidence into them of like you're pretty darn talented, even if they make the really stupid error of letting you go, you're going to land on your feet because of all the hard work that you do because of your diligence, because of your, you know, kind of perseverance. 